Are you all right, Nael? I'm fine. <sighs> what were those things all about? They were giving me Mobius Scrab vibes, but they weren't the same. Matthew! What happened? Ah, oh, hey, Oren. It's fine. We're all good. Was it Mobius? Nah. Some new kind of breed of monster. Took them down, and they vanished into thin air. Don't scare me like that. I thought, since you used the Ouroboros power, it had to be Mobius. Come on, that's crazy talk. It's been like 15 years since we last tussled with Mobius. Yeah, I suppose so. How are we for Ether? See for yourself. Right on. So it looks like we've met the quota. Shall we head? <sighs> Niall? Hmm. Let us away, towards a new world, out with the old, and in once more with the new. <sighs> Nayo! <gasps> What's the matter with you? Shake a leg! Uh, sorry. Coming. Niall, what were you up to back there? Huh? You were kind of spaced out. Not really. <sighs> Matthew. What's up? It's Matthew. Listen, we could do with a little help over here. Bit of a snafu. Wolf, say. Eh? More than we expected. No rest for the wicked. Copy that. I'll head over. You want me at De Delisle, right? That's it. Thanks. Dylan, eh? Yeah. Says they're having trouble with wolves. Gonna lend him a hand. Damn. They've really been multiplying. Sure looks like it. My bad, Niall. I'll catch you up later. Uh, okay. Let us away, towards a new world. Out with the old, and in once more with the new. It has been over a decade since Alpha seized Origin. This Eve, he intends to show himself at last. While Origin remains in Alpha's clutches, my will cannot extend beyond its threshold. I trust you will set forth once more. Sword of the End, that which denies fate and makes its essence mercurial. What machinations could have led it into that man's grasp? <laughs> I see origin brims with the very will of those who are as unto gods. Niall, you I thought you were dead. I'm so glad. I, I was so sure you'd 
I thought I'd really lost you for good this time. <laughs> What's up with that outfit, huh? Where'd you pick up a weird get up like. Matthew, no! It's not her! Huh? Not Nael. But it clearly is. How can you not recognize her? Oh, of course. You've never met her before. Hang on, I, I should have a photo. Matthew, look at me. The person you see before you isn't Nael. It is in part, but not wholly. Inside of her is Alpha. Huh? Not you too, eh? What is this? Who is this Alpha guy, anyway? I don't understand. What are you doing? Come quickly. Everyone's waiting. Matthew. Niall, hold up a minute, yeah? Seems there's something really confusing going on here. Alpha suddenly appeared one day. With the goal of destroying this world. Rex and I, and Zed too, we fought against Alpha. To save the world from his rancor. Alpha's power is unparalleled. For all our efforts, it wasn't enough. Even our collective might failed to repel him. In the end, all we managed was to buy a fraction more time. Having tasted frustration in battle, Alpha understood. He realized he needed something to amplify his power. An avatar. <sighs> Nael is the avatar, Matthew. <sighs> the day the city fell, you didn't lose Nael because she went missing. Rather, she had become Alpha's vessel. No. Come on, hey, not you two. I can't. What the hell is this? Can you stop making shit up? There'll be time for explaining later. For now, you've got to give her a real drubbing. Huh? Drubbing? Not that violent. If at all possible, we will free Nile. And if it's not? If it's not, then better buckle up, kid. You can't be bloody serious! Hmm. You are in the way of our vision. Nile. Say, what's so great about this world, really? All the thieving for one's own gain, the greed. Life has less value in this world than a piece of dirt. This is your world of peace. Oh. <sighs> we don't need it, do we, Matthew? Answer. <sighs> you disappoint me, truly. I didn't think you'd side with them. I haven't. I'm just... Enough of this. We will simply go alone then. Niall! Goodbye, my brother. Bastard! That's a hell of a lot more power than before! It's the Avatar! Her emotions are heightened. They're feeding straight into Alpha's power. <sighs> Stronger still. You fail to reach such a zenith. Alpha. I, N, shall thwart you once more. My blade will cut. Your very will! Sword of the end. Sure about that? I am Niall. I am the of all that. All doubts. Misgivings gone!
Again, Alpha. Really. No. It is over. No. Stop! <sighs> it's you. Like killing Granddad wasn't enough for you. Now, Niall, do! Huh? The hell are you playing at, eh? Why? You must not lash out at him. Matthew. He's not your enemy. I promise you. Stop talking shite! He's trying to kill Niall! He killed Grandad! And you're... He is... your flesh and blood. What? Think you've bought yourself some time? We may not have much, but it's more than we need to erase you. Quite. Well then, I'm happy to wait. For you both, yes? Protecting this world, Zed promised me eternity, an eternal present in which to abide. Zed, is that the Mobius head honcho? What do you even do with eternity? For starters, you Mobius. Bastard. That's the reason for this. I'm sure you plan to pursue them. And yet I will not let you reach them. Before you can interpose yourself, I will cut Alpha down. You'd do well to remember that. You serious? Even now? She's your flesh and blood too!
Matthew. Come on, let's go back to base and regroup. We'll tell you everything we know. Damn straight. I'm done being kept in the dark. About time you let me into the club. <laughs> Our original worlds used to be one and the same. It boasted almost unthinkable prosperity, and was home to so many people. That is, until one man's foolishness screwed it all up, splitting it into two separate places. One was the world of the Bionis, and the other, Olrest. These two divided worlds began to evolve independently of each other. They each gave birth to new life. It wasn't as peaceful as it sounds, though. You had your share of tyrannical empires, scrabbling over limited resources. But despite all that, thanks to generations of people fighting for the future, the worlds did eventually know harmony. Sadly, it didn't last. The two worlds torn asunder longed to be as they once were. But they were composed of opposing types of matter. Recombined, they would dissolve into light and cease to be. The annihilation events you see across Ionios are miniature portents of this. So we put our heads together and built something that would let us escape destruction. We called it Origin, a repository of data about everything, of memories and souls. Even if the worlds were annihilated, this system would let us revive them. And that thing in the sky is it. At the heart of its workings, is the Trinity processor core called Ontos. In other words, Alpha. But Alpha deemed our existence obsolete and wanted to erase us. We all fought, even Mobius. And it was a draw. No, I guess we lost. All we did was delay the inevitable a smidge. We couldn't cut it. Now Alpha's gathering power again and getting ready to depart in the heart of origin called the Ark. Alongside new life, the lives of city people gathered there, which he plans to take to a new world. Is that all of it then? We done? No more little secrets? It's the unvarnished truth. <sighs> But why would he choose her in particular? There were so many in the city to choose from. She's got agony and ancestry. In terms of hereditary traits, core crystals get dominance. My guess? Maybe it's because he's got injured when we fought. Maybe she's got whatever he's lacking. There's more to it. Her emotions also factor into it. Or... That may, in fact, be the most crucial element of all. <sighs> Say, what's so great about this world? Really? Or the thieving for one's own gain? The greed! Life has less value in this world than a piece of dirt! This is your world of peace! That... That wasn't my sister back there. Nael is the kindest person I know. She looked after the city's children, and they loved her. But that's just it. When a person loses that, what do they do? They change. <sighs> what she said last night, that's the way she truly felt. And to Alpha, those emotions are the perfect fodder. Right now, she's a great deal more indispensable to him than me. I'll find him, but I'm doing it for her, for Nio. All this saving the world stuff, that's something for you guys to sort out. I'll buckle up, no problem. Good to hear. Then our goals align. In case you didn't notice, we want the best for you too.
knowing N is your family. Still up to it? Family? He killed Grandad. He's no family of mine. I see. Then I won't stop you. Though... Huh? Listen to me. If you decide to hear his side of the story, be sure to heed his words. Once you do, you can judge for yourself. I respect your choice. Hmm. Let's make this the decider. Yeah. Brace. Just a little more. We need to ride it out. That's it. did it? Mm. Kiddo. Cheers. I'm not kiddo. Ah, gotcha. Glimmer, I know. You need something from me? Someone who uh, asked you to deliver a message, or...? Thank you. Mm hmm? I, I never got a chance to thank you. What? For saving me, that is. Oh, it wasn't that big a deal. All in a day's work. Sorry for flipping out at you. Spark you, how dare you? That was my first thought. But now I'm glad I'm here. Glad I can choose for myself. That right? Say. Hmm? Your scar. That recent? What's the story? Oh, this. Lost it in the fight with Alpha. And got sloppy and had to pay for it. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's got its downsides, but I kind of like it. This guy I really looked up to, and an eye thing too. Like a mentor? Sounds nice. Hey, why do you do all this? Why do I do all what now? All the helping. It's nothing to do with you, but you risk life and limb, fighting to protect people you don't even know. Smiles, I guess. Uh, smiles? If through my fighting, someone out there gets to smile, that's the kind of world I want to help create. And that's why you fight? Yeah. And also... Hmm? You're a little off. It's not nothing to do with me. Huh. Long as you're alive, you're always connected to others. We used to call it affinity or bonds. Bonds? Our meeting was the work of chance. Chance. That's what tied the bond between you and me. And now, we gotta protect that. Well, Spark. Protecting the world, see? It's just that simple. I cannot believe you. 
That day was the first time the two of you ever met, and you just assumed A was from the city? There was a lot of us. I didn't know every single person. A had supposedly lived there and just happened to be coming back. That's basically when our paths crossed. So you knew nothing at all about A, but you tagged along anyway. Ugh, nobody's that oblivious. Hey, blame the one keeping the secrets, not me. You never thought to inquire about it, so I never told. That's all. Huh? Don't give me that. I mean, traveling this world alone isn't exactly normal behavior. Normally, you'd inquire. No, you wouldn't, normally. Hey. Go on. When I turned down the chance to be a god, I lost the power to have visions. But you, A. Eh? There is no single established future. You should know that better than anyone, Shulk. Huh. If I were to tell you now what form your futures might one day take, it would be but one possibility, and a hazy one at that. The thing that gives shape to the future, it is your will. That's all the future is, Shulk. <laughs> You're quite right. I don't relish getting old. Age saps my courage. That's perfectly correct. Leaping blade first into thick of fray is game best left to young and reckless. You said it, Riku. Actually, is Masterpon who say? Your master, eh? Masterpon say, when find one such gift this. Isn't that... Everyone is right here. And also with Shulk there. You're right. We're not alone. Hmm. Say, hey, I'm not sure how much I should trust you right now. So talk to me. What really happened back then? In the city? If you're a part of Alpha, then you must have seen it, right? What do you know? I won't tell you. Why not? That's... something I'm afraid you'll have to ask N about directly. I should. Then you must judge for yourself. What to do afterwards. Whom it is that you should save. <sighs> Beyond the answers you seek, you'll find now. Uh-huh. <sighs> is, uh... Hmm? Is A your real name? It has the nuance of the one at the beginning. In this world, only I and Alpha can claim that honor. It might not be the best way to put this, but it's like old times. In the past, you embarked for Ontos's memory space from here. Recreating it was deliberate on Alpha's part. You mean, we'll be able to board the Ark from here? Logically, it would follow, yes. Hmm. That's Hen! So he decided to work for us after all. What a considerate lad. <sighs> what is it? I've never seen a console like that before. I guess that's because he's one of ours. I know that. It's the look in his eyes. Did you see? What? The other consoles. In theirs, there's joy. This gleeful glint. But for him, his hold no line at all. I don't like it. 
Not one bit. Hmm. You trying to bar our way? That's the vibe I'm getting here. You're aware. Alpha said he was waiting for you. Yeah, and so what? What that implies is that he requires your presence. That without you, the Ark will not depart. Come on, stop beating around the bush, damn it. It's pissing me off. I'm saying the one keeping Nael in this world is you and none other. And that's why you're trying to kill Matthew, is that it? No thought for saving Nael or anything. Man. Twisted little so-and-so. You serious about this? I did warn you. Oh, gee, thanks. In the current of the eternal flow, you need not justify the means. All is swallowed up. Everything. <sighs> then, this is where your journey ends. You damn fools! I'll end this right here, right now! How do you like that? Right on Krona! <laughs> The heroics to me. Still holding on. I'll be your opponent. Nice. Thanks for the This is our There goes the enemy. Last game. We won. Gotta lie down, No. This is what I want for all that. Funny. I can't seem to. You need my legs. No way. Nicole. Snap out of it, Nicole.
What's that? Strange pillar of light. Come, enter the circle, quickly. It's just you and Matthew now. Now? What are you... Why are you doing this? But you told me yourself. You told me to make friends. Say something. He doesn't want us here. We're a nuisance. Nuisance? Right. You who've become Mobius. N. Isn't that your name? You? Who are you? What have you done to Nile? Its name is Alpha, an entity that wishes to erase this world. <sighs> He's wrong. I want to embark on a journey to the future. There's just the matter of unwanted baggage. What are you talking about? Lives. <sighs> we Mobius and every last soldier on the face of this world. I... what are... and that's why all this... See? We don't need them. I will. I will arrest it. This moment. This instant. Alpha! You will not seize this moment from me! Blood Moon! Uh. I Blood will erase you right through. The one leaving things behind is you! Granda, help. Please help. Naya? It is done. Alpha. <laughs> Nile is 
She's your family. I can't let you do this. What about Mum? Did she want this too? You don't need to know. The burden is... mine alone to bear. <sighs> Mum would... tell you to let it go, I'm sure. I know it. But you... you can't choose this path. Hondo. Oh, no. <laughs> Niall! Granddad! <sighs> this is the path I have chosen. Matthew. Granddad! Take care of the future. Granted! It's in your hands. Matthew! What was that? Just now? A memory from Origin. The clash between Matthew and N afforded us a glimpse of it. This is how N truly felt. That's some history. I can't imagine. Huh. The people who are of the city are the future of this world. <sighs> and in Alpha's eyes, they are a crucial source of power. So you killed them all? Killed Grandad? It was Gondor's choice. I simply cut him down. As he desired. <laughs> Stop taking the piss! Grandad wouldn't... He'd never side with the likes of you! The future's in my hands! That can't be what he meant! <laughs> you don't even see it. Are you really... THAT MUCH OF AN IDIOT! <gasps> it's not just us, you know. It's your ass as well. It's all of that and more that he meant. And if you can't get that into your head, you're about the dumbest bastard there is! Matthew... Let's go. I don't have time for his idiocy. You're gonna leave him? He's Mobius. If he tries a stunt like that again, I'll just sock him another one. This was a family matter, through and through. End of story. Ah! What? El! Huh? I've been waiting, brother dear. Ah! 